Claymore's CryptoNote GPU Miner version 9.6 for AMD GPU. We're going to be using Claymore's CryptoNote GPU Miner to mine some Monero. So you can go to his Bitcoin forum thread and download it using the Google or Mega links. You can also read through his thread to check out the different switches. I'm going to be using the select algorithm dash A switch dash A space 4 because I'm using 400 series cards. And I'm also going to be using the pools text file to put my pools in. You can put your pools directly in the command line, but I'm going to use the pools text file. So you can go ahead and download it from one of those links. I've already got mine downloaded. So I'll go to my downloaded archive and extract the archive. I'll also open my Monero wallet text file so that I have my wallet information ready. Again, you can see my key there and you shouldn't show people that, but I don't care because I'm not going to be using this wallet. It's only for demonstration purposes. I'll go into the Claymore Crypto Note folder and then the second folder. And I'm going to be using Dwarf Pool for the example pool in this tutorial. So you can go to dwarfpool.com. So on Dwarf Pool, we can see that they have several coins, including Monero, Ethereum, and Zcash. I'm going to go ahead and click on Monero to take me to the Monero Pool page. So I'm going to go ahead and open the pools text file. And I'm going to change the two pools in this text file to these two pools, the EU and USA server. I'll copy the USA server and paste that over the mineMoneroPool.com server. And then I'll copy the EU server and paste that over the CryptoPool.fr server. And then I'm going to change my ports. If we scroll down a bit more, we can see that there are a number of different ports that we can use. They seem to all be at the same difficulty, so it probably doesn't really matter which one you use. I'm going to use the 8100 port. So I'll copy the 8100 and paste that in my pools file. Then I'll save my pools file and close it. Next I'm going to want to edit the pool batch file. So I'll right click on that and click edit. And this is our command line. Again, you can put the pools directly in this command line, but if you're using the pools text file, you don't have to. So I'm going to copy my Monero address and paste that over the default address. Dwarf pool lets you add a rig name. It has to be a number or a set of numbers. So I'm going to use 6480 because this is my 6480 rig. Now I'll go back to Claymore's thread and I wanted to use the select algorithm dash A space 4 switch. So I'll copy that and I'll paste that into the end of my command line. I can now save the batch file and close the batch file. I'm going to rename my batch file from pool to dwarf pool just so that in the future I can remember that this is a dwarf pool batch file to launch the miner just in case if I want to use other pools or create another batch file. Then I'll double click on the dwarf pool batch file to launch the miner. I can paste my wallet address into the worker stats field on dwarf pool. Remember to take out the rig name, the worker name. It should only be your wallet address. Then you can click on show and that will show you your worker stats. Here you can see current balance, already paid, unconfirmed, earnings in the last 24 hours. You can see your current approximate speed. You can change your payments to hourly payments. You can see some mining charts. Shares found by the pool.
and we can see that I'm getting over 3,700 hashes per second. And keep in mind that five of six of these 480s have a modded ROM and there is no additional overclocking on the memory or core. With the screen recorder on, it doesn't hash as high as it would with it off. With it off, it hashes around 4,000 hashes per second. I suppose if I was to increase the overclocking on the memory, possibly mod that last card, I could get a lot more. My 7470s with modded ROM and overclocked memory get about 4,750 hashes per second. I hope you liked the video, I hope it helped, and thanks for watching.